Yo, what is happening guys? It's Mercenary, and today what I got for you is a exciting new feature which if you guys haven't tuned in already, Xbox E3 has announced that from Phil Spencer that there will be Xbox One backwards compatibility for the Xbox 360 game. So any game that you own for the 360 will be now playable either digitally or through a physical copy if you got the game. All you gotta do is install it to the hard drive of the Xbox One and wait for it to install and voila, you should be able to play it. Well. I did, however, sign up for the Xbox One dashboard preview a long time ago. I just never knew what kind of features and abilities it would bring up until I learned about that right now. And uh, right now, I actually got gained the ability to install a few arcade games which I have on my 360 which are now presentable here. Battle Block Theater was one of them and so was Hexic HD. So first off, let us see what kind of games, or if the games that I do have now, um, I'm going to put myself in, let's see here, I'm going to put in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, because that's probably the most, the one game that people want to play right now, or any kind of Call of Duty, because for me, I have to kind of switch over to my second monitor, or I have to plug my Xbox 360 into my Xbox One, so let's see if Xbox 360 will allow me to play, oh, well this one does have a crack in the ring, so I'm not surprised that MW3 is having troubles reading. My apologies. We'll try some Black Ops 2. Alright. Oh, this game is not playable here yet. Okay, so I now know that that ability is not quite available to me just right yet. So now that we've actually tested that ability, let's go to the games and apps and see if I can play Hexic HD. Install. Now this feature I'm super excited for because I've got hundreds of games on the 360 which I would still love to go back and play on the Xbox One. And since they were given that opportunity, what more hype can be shared for someone who wants to play their old games on the new Xbox One. Plus my most favorite feature is whenever I'm on the 360 and I'm not recording, something special will happen. I'll be like, damn I wish I was on the Xbox One. Well now. As I play this on the Xbox One, I now have that ability to not only snap a screenshot, but also record a 30 second segment through the Xbox One's DVR. Now that feature I couldn't be any more hyped or excited for. So this may take a little while, so we're just going to go ahead and install Battle Block Theater here, and see which one finishes first. I did end up giving myself a 2 terabyte hard drive, so that I am not left uh, short like on space at all. So, I am not too sure where in my apps that I've actually got this Xbox dashboard preview. Unfortunately, I have removed it because I kind of knew that as uh, Microsoft would actually proceed further later in the year, that they would actually implement these kind of features later on in the year, which they're currently doing right now, that I wouldn't even need this app. But now that I've actually heard and gotten word from the E3 uh, conference that those who are Xbox One preview dashboard adopters or downloaders of the app already will get the ability to download and play any arcade and possibly any 360 title straight from the, uh, the hard drive which is either downloaded digitally or physically inserted into the, into the uh, Xbox's disk drive through a disk which unfortunately I'm unable to test at this moment but you know I do have plenty of other games to try that on so I'm gonna try myself the famous and the infamous Grand Theft Auto 5 and I won't be surprised that this doesn't allow me because I'm pretty sure as oh. so it seems that we're gonna have to go on to the website and see what it is on the Xbox dashboard that we are currently able to demo and or play fully backwards compatible on the Xbox one which I am not fully aware of right now because this feature just became available to me as I've been watching the Sony press conference and then I just switched to my Xbox One and I noticed that two of my arcade games that were in my library were now downloadable and now I want to see with you guys watching me at the same time what of these games are actually playable so I'm gonna go back to here and it doesn't seem like any more is available right at this very particular time But the one thing I'm actually very curious is what you guys thought about uh, the Xbox, E3, and PlayStation conference because I'm pretty sure each of you have your own subject uh, subjectable arguments and uh, likes and dislikes about it. For me, 
I'm not really biased. I like both, I'll be honest. I know there's probably a lot of the uh, Sony press conference I missed. Be, uh, I'm not too sure what I've missed. So I'm not going to really judge Sony's press conference. But a lot of people saying that Xbox One, because of the hype for the backwards compatibility, Rise of Tomb Raider exclusivity, um, Halo 5 Guardians, and many other games that are yet to come for Xbox One in the following year, as well as next year. So, um, as we wait for these games to download, I'm not too sure how long each of them are going to be, but I'm trying to find on the website here of which games would be available for backwards compatibility. Uh, Xbox support, I am not sure which one to go for right now. But I will list them as I go along as I s will hopefully find which games are compatible as of right now because I know that they say that most of these games who are Xbox preview dashboard uh, adopters or something like that would gain access to this kind of accessibility but just not how instant it would be at the time of them mentioning it. All, I, all they know is that it would be available probably after the Xbox E3 has concluded, which it already has. So I'm pretty sure that Microsoft themselves are currently working on implementing such a feature for all of us to experience and enjoy on our leisure. So, I haven't quite found it yet. Okay, here we go. So, um, available games. There are the, uh, these go for the arcade games, and as well as the AAA titles. So, A Kingdom for Keflings, A World of Keflings, Aliens Harmonite HD, Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, Banjo-Tooie, and I will possibly list of all the games that are currently available, as I do need to, uh, so yeah, right now, Microsoft is currently working on the games that will be available to those who are Xbox One Dashboard Preview. And those who are not will have to wait until this holiday season. So yeah, those are the current games that are available right now if you guys want to go try them. Or you guys could go to your My Games and Apps and you'll see the which games are available and ready to download in the current section which you'll see right here. So they're ready to install section. So I've got plenty of games which are probably not listed in the uh, ones that are available right now but they will become available shortly so I will catch you guys when this game is fully downloaded and we'll give it a further test just to see how it goes alrighty guys so welcome back to the preview part it seems that Hexic HD takes this one for the one being the first downloaded so let's go ahead and see what it looks like oh damn this looks pretty spiffy yeah, this is the one thing I'm very hyped for. I don't know about you guys, but uh, this is what the hype about Xbox E3 was all about. Getting you know, Xbox 360 info. Alright, so this is what we'll encounter when we download a game digitally, and or the physical copy when it's inserted and after the installation has been complete. Alright, so it looks like it's already sending me onto my main profile. Alrighty, so it took a little bit of time, but guess what? It works and it's fanciest beep. So I guess I don't really need to express what that beep was about, but this is so freaking cool. <laughs> Alright, so gear picture unlocked. Oh damn. And I'm not too sure if the gamer score is actually provided on this to be honest, but it'd be freaking awesome if it was. Alright, so we're just gonna do a, a marathon. Alright, so here we go. So it functions like as if you're playing on the 360, like the main presenter set. We're just gonna go up here. There we go. Damn. This is actually a pretty fun game back in the day, I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty. And I'm glad to be the first out of many to provide this footage for you guys. I can't wait for what more they have yet to do and will become available in the future. Alrighty. This is pretty darn cool, I'm not gonna lie. All 
Alright, so that's about as much time I'm going to actually dedicate towards this game. We know it works. And I'm hella excited. I don't know about you guys, but my hype is real. So, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the Xbox dashboard, which will probably lead me back to the Ones dashboard. So there we go. We got Hectic HD fully playable, and with many other games soon to come. Let's just see if there's any more that are downloadable at this moment. Nope, it doesn't seem like it's there just yet, but... It will become available soon, so hope you guys enjoyed, and those who are the Xbox Dash for Preview owners, hope you have as much fun as I do, and I thank you for watching. Peace.